Now for this question then, we've got to solve 2 cos 2 theta equals 1 minus 2 sine theta. For theta, greater than or equal to 0 degrees, but less than 360 degrees. So to do something like this, what do I notice? Well, first of all, I've got different angles, 2 theta and theta. And generally, in any trigonometric equation, it's best to try and get the angles the same. So I want to get them down to the angle theta. And the other thing I notice is I've got different trig functions. I've got cosine here and sine here. And it's generally best to get them in the same trig function. So what I look at then is cos 2 theta. And we should know an identity for cos 2 theta. Do you remember that cos 2a, okay, cos 2a is identical to cos squared a minus sine squared a. And if we replace cos squared a with 1 minus sine squared, remember that identity sine squared plus cos squared is 1, then cos squared is the same as 1 minus sine squared. So if you replace that with 1 minus sine squared, then minus another sine squared a, you'll end up with 1 minus 2 sine squared a. So we should really already know this identity, another version for cos 2a. Totally in terms of sine a. And that's what we're going to use here. Because what we can do is change this then to, well, leave the 2 there, but multiply by, instead of cos 2 theta, the theta being the a, we can write this as 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. All right, 1 minus 2 sine squared squared theta. And this is equal to the 1 minus 2 sine theta here. So you can see what we've achieved is the same angle theta and the same trigonometric function sine. And this is good. All right. So all we need to do now is expand this bracket and we've got 2 minus 4 sine squared theta and that's going to be equal to 1 minus 2 sine theta. And you can see we've got a squared function here, sine squared theta. So this is a quadratic equation in sine theta. And to solve this, we need to rearrange it to make it equal to zero. So what I'm going to do is add four sine squared theta to both sides and subtract two from both sides. So if we do that, we therefore have four sine squared theta and then minus two sine theta and then the 1 minus the 2 is going to be minus 1 and that's going to equal 0. Now normally these things factorize in exams but on this occasion this is one that doesn't factorize. There's not really any clues in the question that this doesn't factorize but uh, I discovered it just by trying to factorize it and found it didn't. So I've got to go to the quadratic formula. Remember the quadratic formula? Uh, normally if you've got something of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, then x was equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. And in this case, the x is the sine theta. So we've got sine theta here then that equals minus b, b being minus 2, so that's going to be minus minus 2, which is 2, plus or minus the square root of b squared. So you can either write 4. If you don't, make sure you write that in brackets, so minus 2 squared. Then minus 4 times a, being another 4, okay, times c, being minus 1. And that's all over 2a. 2 times the 4, which is 8. Now if you work this out, you're going to get two versions for sine theta. Sine theta is going to end out up being 0.809016 and so on. If you take the plus version, if you take the minus version, you end up with minus 0.309016 and so on. So we've got two values for sine theta. So let's just take them individually. Let's say that 
when sine theta equals the 0.809016 value and so on okay then what I'd want to do is noticing that sine theta is a positive number I work off the quadrant diagram so I would have my quadrant diagram as such this is 0 degrees 90 180 270 back to 360 sine is positive sine is positive then in the first quadrant and the second quadrant so I draw two lines like that equally inclined to the horizontal marking those two angles as being the same and what do I require well I first of all require this angle round here theta that's a possible theta starting from here again turning round to the next blue line that too is a possible theta so when I work out the inverse sine of 0.809016 theta turns out to be well I'll tell you what we'll just write theta equals the inverse sine show a bit more working I suppose of 0.809016 and so on but when I do do that you'll find that it comes out exactly okay if you haven't um, just rounded this value if you kept it in your calculator it comes out it's exactly 54 degrees so that's got to be this red theta here that blue angle in there will be 54 so this one here will be 54 so to get the green one we just do 180 minus 54 and if you do that you're going to get 126 degrees now we need to do the other part okay so when we have sine theta here let's just say when sine theta equals minus 0.309016 and so on that's the negative value for sine so if I was drawing my quadrant diagram again I would know that sine is negative in the third and fourth quadrant so I draw lines out like that again equally inclined to the horizontal mark those two in starting from here turn anti-clockwise round to the first blue line that's a possible value of theta start again from here turn anti-clockwise all the way round to the next blue line and that too is a possible value of theta now when we do the inverse sine of minus 0.309016 and so on on the calculator you end up with theta equaling minus 18 degrees we'll pop that in there minus 18 degrees but that's out of range here but what does the minus 18 tell us well it tells us this angle turning clockwise to this blue line is minus 18 degrees but this blue angle in here in magnitude must be 18 degrees and that means that this one over here little blue one there is 18 degrees so the red one will be 180 plus 18 and that's going to be 198 degrees just pop that there so we've got the red one's 198 for the green one just got to be 360 degrees minus 18 and so that value is 342 degrees squeeze that in there 342 degrees so we don't want the minus 18 so in summary for our solutions we've got that therefore theta equals and if we start with the 54 degrees 54 degrees then we've got 126 degrees and then these two 198 degrees and finally 342 degrees four solutions then in that interval all right.